Oregon football coach Dan Lanning is the essence of white privilege and white affirmative action. Over 55% off BS players are black, yet out of the 133 FBS head football coaches, only 15 are black. When these schools have to have black players to win, they represent over 55% of the team. Once their playing days are over, blacks represent about 11% of the coaches. There are those who would like to tell us blacks can learn the plays, but can't teach them as a coach. Dan Lanning was the defensive coordinator for two Georgia national championships. Georgia is a pay-to-play national championship contender every year, where the players get a new BMW and $60,000 to sign at least with the top players getting more. And more endorsement dollars and opportunities. How many black coaches, if given the chance, could have done the same? Dan Lanning is another beneficiary of the good old boy network, which then leads him to the head coaching job at Oregon. Yes, Oregon, Nike, Oregon. All that money from Nike to $70 million football facility, endorsement opportunities, Dan Lanning still probably won't win a national championship. Instead of gloating over beating a team that was 1-11 and last year, Dan Lanning, show us you can beat the top 5 FBS teams you should be competing with to win a national championship. Can Dan Lanning take a 1-11 and team and go 3-1 and to start the season? I don't think so. Dan Lanning is nothing more than a white privilege, white affirmative action hire. When was the last time a white offensive or defensive NFL coordinator who went to the conference finals didn't get a head coaching job? But Eric Bayaniami has to switch organizations to prove himself after winning two Super Bowls as a coordinator. Listen closely to Dan Lanning, Paul Feinbaum, Lee Corso, Matt Rule, and others as their white privilege slowly fades. This is a public service announcement from me, Brian Murdoch. You can't save people who don't want to be saved. Grown men turning little girls into whores that sell $5 blowjobs in apartment complexes. Grown men who no longer want to fight because it's not worth it. Yet it's worth it to everyone else because they are risking life and limb to get here. To take what you have.